James Key leaves McLaren as new structure revealed. Technical director James Key has left McLaren after a difficult couple of seasons and been replaced by a new design office structure at the team. Key's role has been split into three separate technical director positions under team principal Andrea Stella. David Sanchez joins from Ferrari to lead car concept and performance. He is joined by two internal promotions, Peter Prodromo on aerodynamics and Neil Holdley on engineering and design. The changes come after McLaren slipped from 4th to 5th in the Constructors' Championship in 2022, and a dispiriting start to the new season. McLaren a hopeful upgrade scheduled to be introduced from the fourth race of the season will return them to a more competitive position. Stella said, Looking ahead, I am determined and fully focused on leading McLaren back to the front of the field. This new structure provides clarity and effectiveness within the team's technical department and puts us in a strong position to maximize performance, including optimizing the new infrastructure upgrades we have coming in 2023. McLaren Racing Chief Executive Officer Zach Brown said, It has been clear to me for some time that our technical development has not moved at a quick enough pace to match our ambition of returning to the front of the grid. Prodromo as Technical Director, Aerodynamics, will be supported by Giuseppe Pess, who has been promoted to Director, Aerodynamics and Chief of Staff. Piers Thin has been promoted from Operations Director to Chief Operating Officer with the aim of supporting Stella in innovating and elevating the standards at McLaren. These include the team's own wind tunnel, which is expected to be running by the summer. For more than a decade, McLaren have been using a third-party wind tunnel in Germany, creating both cost and logistical issues. Brown recognized the success of the 2021 car was due to the unique circumstances around the COVID-19 pandemic and teams using the same cars for two years when the technical leadership of the team was very different. More recruitment is in the pipeline and McLaren believe they have course corrected and are now back on target with their ambitions. Subscribe to F1 News for you for more F1 news.